This lesson deals with supplemental problem 221. You can find this problem in the ECE 302 ebook in the chapter two supplemental problems, starting on page 47. Given this system diagram, I'd like to design this box such that when the AC power source is present, the digital clock is only powered by the AC to DC power supply. In other words, here's my clock. It can run between eight and 12 volts. And I've got a power supply here that's plugged into the wall outlet and puts out a 12 volt output voltage. When there's a power failure, this voltage goes to zero. And I like to power the digital clock with just this battery. This design is based on an example in the handbook called The Art Electronics by Horowitz and Hill on page 49 of the second edition. This is a very interesting handbook. It has a lot of very practical problems in it. Okay, how are we can approach the problem? Well, we're talking about an either or condition. Maybe we could try an OR gate and see if that would work. In our block diagram description of the problem, we have two inputs to the logic circuit. And in our lecture two notes, we had a OR gate that had multiple inputs. Let's just use two and hook up the power supply. And then we could model the power failure as a switch that goes from here to here. And of course, we just hook up the nine volt battery. And then the clock radio draws some current, may just represent it by a resistor. Let's assume that we have power. This is connected this way, and current would want to flow from the biggest battery to the smallest battery. So I'm going to guess that D1 is on and D2 is off. Let's assume the drop across the diode is 0.7. This voltage is 12 volts, and this current flows through here. This is an open circuit. Then this node voltage here is going to be minus 0.7 plus 12, or 11.3 volts. And what's the voltage across this diode? Well, it's going to be this node voltage, which is 9, and this was calculated to be 11.3. So the voltage across here would be negative actually minus 2.3, and current would flow this way into the clock radio and then back. So that part of it works. D1 is on and D2 is off when I have power applied to the clock radio. Suppose there is a power failure and our voltage now drops to zero volts. I now have the nine volt battery. And again, current wants to flow from the largest battery to the smallest. In this case, I have a zero volt battery here. So current would want to flow this way and want to flow this way. I guess that D2 is on and D1 is off. Again, let's assume we have 0.7. And with this diode on, this node voltage here would be minus 0.7 plus 9, or 8.3 volts. And the voltage across this diode would be this node voltage, which is 0, minus this node voltage, which is 8.3. So it'd be a minus 8.3. This would be off. Current would flow this way. And the voltage across clock radio would be 8.3 volts. And we need at least 8 for it to operate. And this is supplemental problem 221.